In the heart of Marysville, Ohio, the roots of St. John's Lutheran School run deep into history. Founded in the early 1830s by German immigrants, the community gathered for worship and education in humble homes, eventually organizing as St. John's Evangelical Lutheran Church, their first sanctuary built of hewn logs, echoed with hymns and teachings delivered by traveling missionaries. In 1843, under the leadership of John Adam Ernst, the first resident pastor and teacher, St. John's Lutheran School began with 30 students in a member's home, growing to 74 by year's end. Lessons including reading, Bible history, the catechism, and arithmetic, taught in a log building constructed by devoted church members. Hi, I'm Richard Rausch. I'm honored to be the principal here at St. John's. Sitting here on these steps, I wonder where. I wonder where the students from many, many, many generations ago sat. Johann George, Leo Philip, Richard and Bob the twins. The German settlers settled in this land and they wanted religious freedom in this church and school. As we embark upon another stint in the LCMS and our community, I wonder where our future students and parishioners will sit. By the grace of God, we've always found the way to build a church after it burnt down or to erect a school for growing populations of students. No longer do we have grades one through six in the same classroom. With today's ever-changing educational setting, it doesn't matter where our kids sit, they're still going to find out about the love of Jesus Christ. I ask that you would consider where your future generations might sit and how you might help us in our next steps. Throughout its history, the school faced challenges. Fires in 1937 and other trials tested the community. Yet each time, St. John's rebuilt, supported by a steadfast vision of education rooted in faith. In 1989, a multi-purpose room, gymnasium, kitchen, and new lunchroom were added, symbolizing growth and adaptability while preserving its founding principles. The Hagendurfers, the Nichols, the Burns, the Scheiders, the Rausches, the Hackets, the Reekers, all those old German names that sat in these pews that had their children educated in this school, that legacy still remains, as does the new chapter in Union County. Our school is bursting at the seams. There's many new names that we don't even recognize, but we do recognize that these families want a biblical worldview education for their children. In Mark chapter 10, verse 13, it is said, and they were bringing children to him that he might touch them. And the disciples rebuked him. But then Jesus saw it. He was indignant and said to them, let the children come to me. Do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God, like a child, shall not enter. And he took them into his arms and bless them, laying his hands on them. Today, with nearly 400 students, St. John's Lutheran School continues to embody its founders' forward thinking, nurturing young minds and spirits in the footsteps of the Lord, celebrating its 180th anniversary as a testament to resilience, faith, and enduring commitment. With our current facilities aging and continued demand for Christian education, our need for additional facilities has never been greater. We are beyond grateful for all of the blessings God and St. John's congregation has bestowed upon us, but we desperately need your continued prayers and financial support. Our school theme this year is Endure. With your support, St. John's will endure to share Christ for generations to come. Thank you for your continued support. It's not the where or the why, it's the how. It's how kiddos sit in these pews and learn about Jesus Christ and many people that came after him, many people that will come before him. It's taking that love of Christ into the world, into the fastest growing community in Central Ohio, into the Midwest, or wherever these students and their families may end up one day. It's how they will continue to spread that love that allows us to understand why we serve each other, why we reconcile with each other, and why we live together in community. I ask that you would join us in our efforts to continue to raise funds as we grow roots here at St. John's.